Die Hauptaufgabe des Festivals ist, Brücken zu bauen zwischen zwei Kulturen, die arabische Kultur im Film darzustellen. Wir erfahren ja meistens aus den Medien über die arabischen Länder und das ist meist etwas einseitig. Wir wollen zeigen, dass die arabische Kultur sehr vielfältig ist, dass es nicht nur um Katastrophen, Tragödien und Krieg geht. Wir wollen zeigen, dass dort eine kreative Gemeinde lebt, die hervorragende Filme produziert, die sich im internationalen Umfeld messen können. Gebe ich auch zu, das sind sehr viele auch wo selber betroffen. Da bin ich ja auch als der Co-Direktor von der Festival mit dem ganzen ähm, Bürgerkrieg, äh, Libankrieg, alle möglichen Krieg. Und, und das was Schöne auch daran, dass es auch die verschiedenen kulturell, auch nicht nur Araber, nicht nur Schweizer, das sind auch verschiedenes non-speaking German, non-speaking Arabic äh, und alle mit der Freude da sind. Also, und sie zeigen wirklich sehr, sehr gut Interesse. Und bis jetzt haben wir nur positiv über das, was sie gesehen haben. Wir begrüßen Sie ganz herzlich zum Sixth Arab Film Festival Zurich und hoffen, dass auch diese Ausgabe des Festivals, das wir über elf Tage durchführen, Ihnen viele anregende Kinostunden und interessante Begegnungen und Gespräche bieten wird. نحييكم ونرحب أحر الترحيب بحفل افتتاح مهرجان فيلم العربي زيورخ السادس ونتمنى أن نقدم لكم في هذه الدورة من المهرجان التي تقيمها نقيمها خلال 11 يوما الكثير من ساعات العروض السينمائية المحفظة على التأمل وفضلا عن الحوارات واللقاءات الممتعة Ich habe die Freude, Sie so, wir haben es gehört, bereits sechsten Ausgabe einer Veranstaltung zu begrüßen, die das Filmschaffen der arabischen Länder nach Zürich bringt und damit auch arabische Filmschaffende. For our guests from Arab countries coming here is first of all an opportunity to see how their films work outside their own culture and to meet a new audience that takes an interest in their art. Secondly, they can exchange ideas with other filmmakers from other Arab countries or from Europe and Switzerland. The pandemic made such physical encounters largely impossible at the last edition of the festival two years ago. So now, We are very happy to welcome guests from 22 Arab countries in our town again. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Zayd Abu Hamdan. I am a filmmaker from Jordan. I am very nervous right now, so I don't know what to, uh, what to say. Just honestly, like I walked in, thank you. I walked in and I saw you know, my, my film name and it says Jordan and the presence of, of me as director in Zurich is such an honor. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very, I feel very thankful, very blessed. Thank you so much. Everybody who, who, who's, who's in charge of this festival, I hope you like it, the film. I made this film because of my love for my mom and her three sisters. And I made that film because I love Jordan. I love my country and I, I, I always, feel like it's a responsibility for filmmakers to not only entertain but also bring social issues. The cinema industry in, in the Middle East needs more technology, needs more uh, development. That's why we, we were very keen to introduce and inject more technology. What can we offer, for example, is an application for script writing in Arabic. You know, if, if you want to write a script, You have some applications in English, in Spanish, in, in French. What's the language? Yeah, yeah. It, it has been always uh, a big issue for the Arabic scriptwriter to write in, with the application. So they were using what we call Franco-Arab, Franco-Arab, which means writing Arabic in English or in French. So it, it never uh, flies. Now, I understand that you had a program that was divided into five stages, five phases each dedicated to uh, certain steps of film production, brainstorming, script writing and gaining insight into the field of movie production and organization, shooting, editing and then presenting the results to an audience. Now, um, Susanna and, and Ayas, I mean, 
Uh, as Milo said, it was obviously very difficult with COVID and also with different uh, regulations and, and so on. How did you, A, set up this program, B, form a team of teachers and three, select the students for the program? Uh, I, I will start because I was in, uh, in Ghent with the, um, like the, f the first group to, uh, to discuss like, uh, the, the plan for, for Mosul and we, we tried to focus first of all to, um, uh, to give a, like a fair opportunity for all the students to be able to learn uh, 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 things related to filmmaking uh, from the artistic side and the technical side. When we consider filmmaking as a visual storytelling, the, the essence that um, the essential thing is that they have an understanding of how images are captured and how they can be used to create a mood, for example, or a tone or even an atmosphere. The book that is still, I think, if you want to know more about it, uh, the, the, the point to start, written by Viola Shafik, a German-Egyptian movie maker and scholar, published in the late 90s, could still um, mention that jo Jordan had only half a dozen full uh, movies back to uh, up to the end of the 1990s. The scene, of course, changed since then. And uh, thanks to the investments of the royal um, uh, of the royal family, for example, in the funda foundation of the Royal Jordanian was Royal it? Film Commission, it's Royal Film Commission. Thank you. In 2003, uh, if the funding is still coming and if, if it's if it's growing, you know, then then definitely we will get somewhere very good, and we can have an in for, for, like we can have we can compete also uh, in the market because, like for example, Manat Abdurrahman was the first film to ever get screened in than like big megaplexes cinemas in Egypt. Keep producing. I know that you know having French money on a, on, a, on a project would definitely make it more likely to be selected in Cannes, but uh, and of course no filmmaker would not like to go to Cannes, including myself. But uh, so this is part of like what I'm doing personally as as an Arab filmmaker to maybe keep growing the, the the industry while I make films. The financiers who made film who put money in my film, they're gonna get money back. They're gonna be more excited to put money in future films. Uh, so so this is partly, um, I just like to, to add a little uh, detail about that. I wanna talk about co-productions. What we do, we're trying as much as we can to sp spread the cinema culture and do screening uh, everywhere, any times, free of charge. Uh, we are very selected when it comes to films. To, to bring an, uh, to, to give people chance to see the others. So uh, not just culturally, but we are aware of the industrial side. Jordan consider now one of the most attractive country uh, in the MENA region, not just in the, in the Middle East. Because um, like uh, I can see hundreds of films, foreigners from Europe or states come to Jordan to shoot films. How do you measure uh, the impact of your work? How do, is it based on reactions from certain people or do you feel that there are certain topics that you have to cover for you to have a successful? Well, for me, success is a result. It's not something that I aim for. I do my job, I do my research, I refine my techniques, my tools, uh, take challenging roles. I'm adventurous and I believe that eventually at some point it will pay off, but it's not like a target to me to be successful rather than trying out new roles, giving voice to new characters, to new people, because like for example, our movie is based on a true story, so it's not just pure fiction, I mean, at some point. So this is what matters to me. Filming is important, especially as in the case of Lebanon, on, we have it the government has a tendency of wanting to erase everything and build over and you know that sort of thing um, having films having photos having testimonies all of this matters a lot like the key is to try and be sensitive about it where is women's role really uh, playing a bigger role in this whole industry and how was it more slowly introduced and, and becoming more of a, an important aspect and an asset in, in this industry this is a big change, of course, and it happened because um, uh, there were more uh, uh, university departments right now in Saudi uh, where females actually study uh, filmmaking uh, and they uh, also work in the industry. Uh, we have uh, crews in uh, production in, um, in so many departments, you will see 
uh, Saudi females working uh, in these departments. A very warm welcome, dear guests from near and far, to the award ceremony of the 6th International Arab Film Festival Zurich here at the Film Podium. It's always a pleasure to watch uh, all these movies, all these cinematographic propositions, uh, very inspiring and to learn things. And yeah, it was hard to choose, but I think we, we chose um, cinematographic and uh, gesture and braveness. I'm going to announce the special mention. We're going to watch a clip and then we're going to re read a statement of the jury. And the special mention goes to the film, You Resemble Me by Dina Amir. You have to clap. The first director this year is James Shibab. James Shibab. James Shahab. The award for the best film goes to Fadma by Jawad Khalib. So thank you, thank you for Fatima and for all the women that uh, are fighting for their uh, rights uh, in Morocco and in uh, all the world, uh, even in Switzerland, I think. So thank you very much and uh, have uh, a <coughs> uh, <in> good <bonsoir. laughs>